hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is 22 days till christmas so today's nail is just a single nail and it is a santa hat wine glass so i did see this some did send me they'd seen it somewhere instagram or on facebook or somewhere like that and they sent me a picture and asked me if i'd be able to do this so i thought well you know let's have a go give me a bit of practice of a bit of nail art so that is why i'm doing this nail so if i've nicked this nail design off of you i am sorry but it just shows you that a lot of people like your design anyway so i'm just doing well i have just done two coats of black gel polish and cured both of them in between the last coat i did was a matte top coat so that is just curing so i'm just getting my palette and my stand ready so all them have been cured for a minute each so on my palette i'm just going to add a bit of silver gel polish And then once that nail has cured, I will crack on with doing this nail design. Okay, so that's just come out of the lamp. So I'm just going to wipe that with some gel res to get any tacky bits and make sure it's nice and clean. So that should go matte in a second or two when that dries, which it has. So I'm just going to take a fine detailing brush and I am going to start doing the outline for the glass first so you don't want i'm using gel polish but you don't want too much on your brush i'm not really good at nail art but i am gonna do a lot more practice i have give myself a target for this month to do a lot more nail art so that is why i am doing this today I mean, you better see my mistakes and how I sort them out. So this is the first one. So I've done the stem of that glass and the the bottom of it that what goes on your table, and it's just too big for me. So what I do is I'm just going to get a cotton bud and dip it in gel res and just wipe that off. So wipe it off with a bit with a gel res, and then use the other side just to take the the wetness off, and then go in and dry that again so this time i'm just going straight in with a line across the bottom and then just do a little angle upwards which were a lot easier than trying to do it the way i did the first time but like i says i've got to really do a bit of practicing for my nail art because i am at pants so I'm just going to start doing the, do you know why I don't drink? So I don't even know what this is called. The cup part. I know it ain't probably called a cup. But the main body of the glass now, which holds your alcohol. So I'm just trying to get that so that it's the same on both sides. And got a nice curve at that bottom part. So it's, I'm sorry, it's a bit hard for you to see, isn't it? But oh there that's a bit better you can so the left hand side as i'm looking at this i liked but this side i was like no nah, it's a bit cockeyed is that one so i just went back in used my little cotton tip and just removed that and then went in and did that side again so i'm happy with that but i don't need it all the way to the top i just wanted to make sure that it looked equal so I'm going to do the top part of the Santa ha Santa's hat now. That were alright, tongue twister for me then. So I'm doing the fur bit of his hat. So I'm just bringing that down on an angle to me, the bottom of that glass where I've rubbed it off to. And then I'm just going to start thick at this side and then go thinner as it goes down that nail. So I haven't cured any of this because I am going to put some glitter over the top of this. So you don't want to be curing this. So once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to move that out of the way and get some really fine glitter. So I've gone for holographic silver. 
And I'm just going to pour that over that wet acrylic. So as usual, I'm out of shot, but I realised and I bring it down. So once I have applied that, I'm just going to shake the excess off, shove that into the lamp for a minute, and then when it comes out, just dust that off. And that is the first part of my Santa's at wine glass. And I think that looks quite cool, actually. The one on the picture that I'd seen, I think it was just done with paint with glitter mixed in it. So I have just changed it up a little bit. I just thought, with it being Christmas, i would have a bit more sparkle. So I'm just going in now with some red gel polish onto my palette to do the rest of this design. So I'm going to start with is that because that's iced up and I don't want to knock the glass as I'm doing it doing you know what I mean if I do the, the glass first and then did the top it might knock it so I'll start with is that so I'm not touching the silver I'm, I'm trying to get a little black a thin line through so that it comes through I don't want it just to be full-on red silver I want a bit of dimension in there so I am leaving little gaps here and there on this app so I'm just doing that in two parts and then join it up at the bottom across. And then I'm going to add the tassel or the long bit that comes down where his pom pom comes on now. So I'm just going to do that down the side of that glass. Just to evade that up a little bit. And then when I'm happy with that, I am going to go in and do the red wine. So just in the bottom of this glass, I am just going to add a little bit of red. And then once I'm happy with that, I am going to move my gel stuff out of the way and get some super fine red glitter. And then, like I did with the silver, I'm just going to sprinkle that on to the red parts of what I've just painted on. Don't forget that side bit. And then tap off any excess and then bung that under the lamp for a full minute. So when that has cured and I've brought that out, I'm going to dust it off. Get rid of all that dust so you're left with just the at. And as you can see some of the black um, gaps have gone missing. So I'm going to go in now with a sharp tool that I got for gel mixing and stuff. And I'm just going to scrape off some of that glitter just so that them gaps go back in. So I'll just show you me to do in a little bit of that. So this is the tool that I'm using and I'm just going to go in and scrape. But that took a while, so I'm not going to show you me doing it all. I just do where I think it needs it. And then that will be this set done. No, it's not. I'm sorry, I'm lying. I've got to do its pom-pom. I just I think I realised then that I've missed its pom-pom off. So I'm just going in again with that silver paint and just doing a circle pom-pom on the bottom of that tassel and then again I am just going to add some silver glitter on there I mean how, how can you forget the pom-pom on Santa's hat you just don't do you so I'm just moving everything out way again because I'm a messy sod and I'm just gonna do that bung that back in the lamp for a minute and that's definitely it with glitter and gel polish definitely now so once that's come out, I'm going to dust him off again. And then I do take that tool again and just titivate up a bit more where I think it needs a bit more black coming through. Just to, I just wanted a bit more dimension. So that's what I do. So the next step, that is it. That is all I have done. And then that is this nail finish, guys. So I'll leave you with what it looks like when I have done. But if you like this, give us it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.